Hey, what is up you guys? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video and in this video I want to talk about Richard Simmons again I cannot believe that I'm setting down to film a second video about Richard Simmons because I don't typically make back-to-back -back videos on people because that's just not my thing because I don't want to add any stress to anything that he may be going through but you guys really ran that last video up and I fell down this rabbit hole of Richard Simmons and I found out so much more about him he is such an interesting person and the overwhelming response to that video was that he's a very positive person so I would rather give my platform to someone that people people love and enjoy that is sharing their experiences. And that's exactly what Richard Simmons has been doing on Twitter, you guys. I don't know if he's coming out with a book or if he wants to talk about things before this biography comes out, but I'm just shocked at the revelations that he's putting out on Twitter these days. But in his most recent one, I was scrolling Twitter today and he was talking about Howard Stern and his experience. Now, you know that Howard Stern is a very polarizing person. There's a lot of people that love that man. There's a lot of people that really cannot stand that man. But Richard Simmons spilled some tea about what happened between him and Howard Stern and I wanted to come on here and talk about it and read the thread that Richard Simmons put on Twitter about this because it has tea. But before we get into that, I would like to thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. In today's digital world where every click and keystroke leaves a digital footprint, safeguarding your online privacy has never been more crucial. That's where Surfshark VPN comes in, a trusted ally in navigating the vast expanse of the internet while keeping your personal data under lock and key. But Surfshark is more than just a VPN. It's your ticket to unrestricted access and unbeatable savings. Imagine this, you're craving a binge watch session of your favorite show, but it's only available on certain streaming platforms in other countries. With Surfshark VPN, geo restrictions become a thing of the past. Simply connect to one of Surfshark servers in a different country and voila, you're now free to stream that show to your heart's content, no matter where you are in the world. It's like having a magic portal that opens up a world of entertainment possibilities. But Surfshark isn't just about accessing geo-blocked content. It's about giving you the freedom to explore the internet on your own terms. With servers in over 100 countries and 3,200 plus RAM only servers, Surfshark always ensures that you have a fast, reliable connection, no matter where your online adventures take you. And with the ability to connect unlimited devices to your account, you can protect your whole entire digital ecosystem with ease. What truly sets Surfshark apart, however, is its unwavering commitment to your privacy. While other VPNs may track your online activities or store your personal data, Surfshark takes a different approach with its strict no-logs policy. Surfshark ensures whatever you do online stays between you and your screen. Whether you're you're streaming your favorite shows, shopping for gifts, or simply browsing the web, Surfshark gives you the peace of mind to do so without worrying about prying eyes. And let's not forget about the savings. For a limited time, you can save a whopping 81% and get three additional months for free. There's no risk to try it, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee when you use code Dustin daily. That's not just a great deal, that's a steal. With Surfshark, you can protect your online privacy without breaking the bank, and that's important with this day and age. So once again, I would like to thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and giving you guys this amazing code. 81% off is a great deal. My code as well as the link to Surfshark will be linked in the description box down below. Now let's get into this video. So after I posted that last video about Richard Simmons, I fell even further down the rabbit hole about what he did before he became this fitness superstar, and I was pleased to find out that he was in comedy. There's a whole bunch of clips of him behind the scenes just being absolutely hysterical. I could not tell you how bad I would love to hang out with Richard Simmons. <laughs> There's no fucking music now. Hey, how you doing, eh? My name is a little Louis Grease, you fuck. That's great, that's great. That was And Jerry, get it up together in there in the booth. You know Richard, have a long No, he's up for an Emmy, honey. It's a one-take fucker. No, no, and now you tell me not to. I'm telling you right now, you do this right, and just smile in front of the goddamn camera. Looks the best. Is anybody on the teleprompter? Ah, uh, right. Ah. Uh. Fuck. So I can absolutely see why people adore him. And I can also see why he got all the love that he did in my comments. I also kind of fell down the rabbit hole of Cindy Adams and all these different people that used to be gossip columnists. If you guys ever want a video on that, let me know down below. But now let's get into these tweets where Richard Simmons shared his experience with Howard Stern. Richard starts his thread by saying, Every week I would travel to a different city for a personal appearance. I would get there a few days early so I could do press. I would do 8 to 10 radio shows and love doing them. I guess in my lifetime, 
time I have done over 20,000 radio shows. When I went to New York, I would go visit Harry Harrison, who played all the oldies tunes that I like. I would dance around the studio and he would say, now settle down, Richard. Then I would visit Joan Hamburg. She did a talk show. She could talk about anything. She would take phone calls and she would let me talk with the people. She did live commercials for her sponsors and I would always help her read them. I visited RuPaul when he had a radio show. What a tall glass of champagne. And Whoopi Goldberg, she had a radio show. I would go there to drive her a little bit crazy. I first saw Whoopi on a one-woman show where she was brilliant. I sat behind B. Arthur. I tapped Miss Arthur on her shoulder and told her that she was a most wonderful actress. And right here is where Richard is about to spill some tea because I did not know about this. Obviously, this was before my time, but I love learning about new things and old things that happened. And I'm sure there's probably going to be some people that are going to remember what I'm about to tell you and what we're about to get into. This is so, so messy. This is so mean. And there's no way what happened on this show would be able to happen today. There's just absolutely no way. I was asked to do a radio show with a shock jock named Howard Stern. I did the show and he was a bit hard on me, but I felt I held my own. When I went outside, people would tell me that they just heard me on Howard's show and I should go back as often as I can. On the show, I met Gary, who was Howard's producer. He was a nice man with the most beautiful teeth that I have ever seen. One day, Gary looked a little sad. He told me his brother was in the hospital. After the show, we drove to the hospital and I paid his brother a visit. Now let's chat a little bit about Rob. Him. What a beautiful face. She had sculpted cheekbones and a voice that could calm a storm. What an unbelievable team. Before Howard had cameras in his studio, I would go in disguise. One day I dressed as a biker. Brown straight hair, a mustache, jeans, a black shirt, and a leather vest. I also filled my arms with pill and stick tattoos. I pushed my way into the studio and scared them all. I told them I was angry at Howard. Let's just say the shock jock got shocked. To be continued, love Richard. Now, I think it's pretty obvious in today's society that we do not like mean girls. People that are just mean for the sake of being mean. So here's where we're going to get into the really messy, juicy part of this story. And for those of you that may be a little bit older and you were around when this happened, I want to know what you think about this looking back in retrospect today. So Richard went on to say in a second part to this thread. Part two. Now let's talk about Howard. He is 6'5 with curly long hair that brushed his shoulders. He would always dress in dark clothing and has a magnificent voice. At the end of the show, Howard asked me if I would like to go to his house for dinner. I was taken aback because he is a very private person. His house was very nice. I thought we all had a good time. But later in his best-selling book, he said some hurtful things. That was the last time I ever went to anyone's house for dinner. Okay, when I first started this video, I was not aware of what was going on with Howard Stern and Richard Simmons as far as why they weren't friends anymore. So as I was editing this video, I went to see if there was footage. And from what I understand, Howard Stern was being really mean to Richard Simmons and he said that he was womanly. And apparently he's never talked to Howard Stern again. Richard Simmons did not deserve that. Could those shorts be any shorter? Those are short shorts. He's like, wearing hot the same pants. Ones. I know. I, I, it's the same ones. It's the exact same ones. Question, do you wear a jock strap underneath your shorts? Yes, I you do. Do, do you, a jock or an underwear? Do you wear underwear or like a like a like a, <laughs> a supporter? A because I don't support. see your. Or no, it's here. I, you know, it's under your ass. You know what our favorite moment was? Uh oh. Do you remember Robin? <laughs> when I put those fake tattoos on and I put the little brown wig and the mustache. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And he didn't know it was me. <laughs> was I that? Didn't. Was that unbelievable? You were amazing. We you were, were great. Then. You were and I have a picture of us together in, in, in my living room. You dressed up like a man. I remember that. That was wild. And <laughs> Really, he did. I'm not being funny. Like, well, a man? What is he? he no, I dressed, dress up like like a, I dressed up like a, a, a rough let's, guy. Let's stop pretending. Richard's not the most macho guy on the planet. He's <laughs> well, very, he, he braces both sexes. Dressed and up he's, like a ruffian. You're yes. sometimes very womanly and sometimes manly. Womanly. Yeah, he, he relates to both sexes. Oh, That's why people it. like him. Is that I'll a bad thing? Howard. <gasps> Whoa. I just wanted to say no. No, no, no it's that okay. Got, wait, all right. let me apologize to Al Sharpton. Richard, run. Richard. Richard, stay. You appeal to both sexes. No, if you want me to call and help you, you let me know. My favorite moment was Richard. Richard, come here. Come no, Richard, don't come leave on, like Richard. this. Richard, 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 you're making a mistake. Don't leave like this. Oh, I knew Howard would goodness. get out of line. Did I say something wrong? Yes, you said he was womanly. Richard is a better person than me because I would have aired Howard Stern 
all the way out. Howard had a TV show for a while. I brought two people who had weight to lose. From nowhere came two fishing poles. At the end of the fishing line was a bunch of candy. They felt very uneasy and Howard's whole crew just laughed. I was happy when the segment ended. So of course when I read this I was like this has to be somewhere on YouTube and guess what? I found it. The internet wins again. When I watched this, I was in shock and disbelief because this is just mean as hell. <laughs> Gary, you promised me that he was going to behave, and you told me you were going to treat me as nice as you treated me at your home. It's very nice to meet your heavy friend. This is, this is Rosemary Carnival. Put in the wide, put in the wide angle lens. Howard. No, I have a three shot. That's Howard. what. That's what I'm saying. Howard. What? All right. And this is Michael Hebronco. Right. right. Michael. Oh, Michael, we talked. How yeah, are you? you talked to Rosemary. Nice We've also talked to Rosemary, yes. Oh, Let's see. Geez. Can they resist? <laughs> Can you believe you Can you resist the Can chip? Can you believe you did <laughs> Yes. Okay, I I'm guess sorry. the I'm Deal of Meals I'm program sorry. really works. <laughs> I, deal and meal work. Deal Look, and they resisted. Oh. You guys lost a lot of weight. Wait a minute. Oh. Michael, ask them how much they lost. All right. How much did you lose, Michael? I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for losing 706 pounds. Bad. Nine, that is 19 amazing. months. 19 that is amazing. months. Howard? What? what Howard? Is, yes. Put that down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is money, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a bread card and two fruit cards <laughs> and a back card. We can eat it. Wait. I just wanted to see if you could resist. No, Michael no. has lost now a total of uh, 712 uh, oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. What is that? <laughs> well, that was not cooked. Maybe they don't want to go they, for that one. They taught one. them well because I see that you can resist food. <laughs> and that is very important. Well, this is now, good for people to see, don't you think, Richard? See, I want to say something now. Howard. Totally All right. Control. Howard. I'm surprised there's not a bite taken out of this uh, flower poodle over here. Howard, you tell me if I brought my friends on that you would be nice to me. Now, Richard is a lot more forgiving than me, girl, because it would have been on. That is so disrespectful. Why would you do that to someone? But Richard went on to say, but you know what? I forgave him. I did Howard's show for many years, and people would write me and say you are one of his favorite guests. Hmm? I don't know if you have ever seen Howard's wife, Beth. She looked like she walked out of a fashion magazine. She has many wonderful qualities. She is a cat lover. On her Instagram, she has the sweetest pictures of cats and kittens. I can't imagine how many she and Howard have fostered. Howard's show is the number one radio show in the world. I don't know if Howard will ever see these messages, but I only wish him the very best. Love, Richard. I kind of have to give it to Richard Simmons on this because he's like eloquently dragging someone. He's saying all these nice things about these people, but then he's like, here's what these people did to me, but I still love them and I have forgave them. But this is what happened. This is how you talk about things in a respectful way. And I truly believe that this is an art that's lost upon many people these days. But I do find it really refreshing that Richard Simmons is now coming out and telling his story and his side of things that many of people may have forgotten about. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Did you know this about Howard Stern? Were you aware of how he treated Richard Simmons? Because I sure wasn't not in this way. But if you made it this far in this video and you like this video, don't forget to like it down below. Leave me a kitten emoji for Howard's wife. Beth, since apparently she likes cats so much. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts and opinions as well. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.